Okay, next step is to mount the saltwater Altera um, and we're going to use a quick release bracket. This is the mount, so Hayne's signature have come up with a nice heavy piece of King starboard. Um, so the installation side is going to be pretty easy because we can bolt straight through and it's going to be nice and easy. Um, so let's just have a look at our quick release bracket. Just get that out of the box. So that comes with all the necessary screws and little locking pin and everything that you need. So it also comes, as does everything, with instructions. Um, that's your locking pin. So this is the part that we're bolting to the boat, and this is the part that bolts to the motor itself. And then obviously that can just neatly come through. On this boat, we can actually put the pin on the inside, which is fairly rare. Most of the time you have to run them from the outside, but we can run this from the inside. So we'll just figure that out as we go. Um, now, the inside of the box comes complete with a template. So you can just open that up and, uh, and use the template. So you can see the template there, so we'll just cut that out to shape and then that can just go straight onto here. We can see there, um, that's our front point, so we know we've got to line that up there. Get it all squared off and we've got all our drill holes ready to go on the template. So inside of the box template, we'll get that cut out now. Okay, so we've got our template cut out from the uh, quick release bracket box. Um, so if we read the instructions here, it says this line here must be flush or past the outer edge of the boat, or bracket in this case. So all we have to do is get that up to there, get ourselves sort of flush along the edges there. Um, so we're right there. And then we can just tape that off, um, drill all our holes, and we're ready to go. Okay, so the bottom part of the quick release bracket's on. Now we've got to fit the motor part. Um, before we sort of get that fitted, we just need to establish what side we want the uh, pin to go because we need to, as part of bolting it all up, we need to get this inserted on the side we want. Now we're going for the inside um, just because it won't be in the way at all and um, it's going to work quite well. So. Um, that pin goes through the centre one and then when that bolts up to the motor um, it's going to hold that pin in place so you can put a padlock on that it comes with a little R clip but a lot of people padlock that off so there's no way they can anyone can take the motor off so we'll get this bolted onto the motor now and that completes um, the bracket installation. Okay we've got the side plates off and that's just exposed where we've got to bolt uh, the bracket on. Um, so this side's okay because you can see we've got notched out ends. So what we can do is just run the bolts through and put the lock nuts loosely on and that side can slide in. But the other side is holes. So one thing that we have to remove to, to do this is the little gas strut that's on the side here. It's just a couple of little circlips to remove. So we can just pop them off, pull that out and then we can get to those three and button all that up. Okay, so we've got the little gas strut off um, this side. So we've opened up our excess there. So what we can do now is just tilt that over. You really can't go wrong with um, which way to put this because the um, nuts have got a obviously countersink, um, but it's tapered so that it really buttons down onto that. So we've got these three in. Um, also, don't forget to have your locking pin bolt um, installed. There's nothing worse than getting it all done, putting it on and then realising you forgot. So those three are done. So because that's channelled, um, we can just mount those straight on now. Tighten 
tighten those up and then we can go through the other side and just bolt those up and we're done. Okay, we've got the Minn Kota on now. Now it's time to put the prop on. So um, we have a little instructions there, but we just take this lock nut off. Uh, we take the red uh, washer off and the stainless washer. And as the instructions suggest, um, the red washer goes in the bin, instructions in the bin. This is just to protect the um, shaft of the prop um, for transport, so that also goes in the bin. Then we grab the prop, um, the shear pin stays on there and that's keyed into that location there. So the prop goes on, uh, stainless steel washer back on and then the prop not anode. So we don't reuse the stainless steel um, nylock nut that came with it. We don't use that, we use the um, nylock. So you can sort of tighten that up and then either get a um, shifter or something on there to just button that off, finish the job. We're done.